I'm Don Lemon. We're back live now in Ferguson, Missouri. A lot of residents here have criticized police for their nightly show of force. And we're joined now by Ben Ferguson and CNN political commentator and host of the Ben Ferguson Show. And by Van Jones, a co-host of CNN's Crossfire. Ben, we got so many people riled up that we brought you back to get them riled up again. So, Ben, let's talk about this heavily you know, armed police displaying a massive threat of force against a largely unarmed civilian population that's trying to exert their right. Isn't that just the kind of thing that pro-gun activists worry about? Isn't this why we're seeing an increase in gun sales? Well, I think it's something to be concerned about. I also think that the, most of the people that are going out and buying guns are people that are willing to go through a background check that are law-abiding citizens that don't know where these protests are going to end up. I mean, just about every night we've had people that have been shot and not by the police in, in, these, in these protests that have been happening. We've seen a gang culture that is starting to rise up and even recruitment, as many have talked about today. And so when you watch it on TV, if I lived in Ferguson, I didn't own a gun and I'm a, I'm a citizen, a law-abiding citizen, I would probably go buy one to protect my family and my home just in case, and I don't blame them for that at all. Uh, uh, ben, let me ask you this question. I'm going to pose this sure. question. What are the people you said, you know, are the gang members in this community? What if all those people went out and registered, you know, and took training, and they all armed themselves in these communities that you see now, do you think that some people would change their idea or their, their stance on guns if all of these people in the community that a lot of people are afraid of suddenly went out and became legal gun owners? I'm not afraid of anybody that's a law-abiding citizen. If you are not a felon, if you can pass a background check, I have no problem with you owning a gun. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care what neighborhood you live in. I, I don't care what you do for a living. I don't even care if you're unemployed. If you feel that you need a gun to protect yourself and your family, regardless of where you live or, your, or the color of your skin, if you can pass that background check, you should be able to do it. And I have absolutely no problem with anybody owning a gun as long as they can pass that background check. Hey, can I Van, do, uh, same question to you. Uh, do you think that would change? Go ahead, Van. Sure. Well, well I, think, I, think it I think it probably would. But here's what's so interesting. Uh, here you have uh, Mr. Ferguson talking about everybody being so afraid and needing to go buy guns to defend themselves against the people who are protesting. The only person that's gotten killed is an African-American unarmed a uh, teenager who was shot not by uh, 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 protesters, but he was shot by law enforcement, left out uh, his body for five, six hours, and the people who were the witnesses, many of them, still haven't been interviewed. So I think that the real fear here uh, should be this unchecked uh, acceleration and increase in militarized policing. And one of the dangers I think that okay. we're not talking about, Don, is that if you give uh, more power to a system but you don't put more oversight over it, you will get abuse of power over time. That's why we have uh, uh, meat inspectors for butchers. That's why we have building inspectors for construction workers. Any system, Levin. any human system that doesn't have checks and balances in it is going to tend toward corruption All and right. abuse. More Levin. military right, you can't, power. Oh, sorry, I more a, I got a lot of... Go ahead, ben, You can't go ahead. overlook... You can't overlook the violence that's taken place since then, Van, to act as if nothing bad has happened. You've had looting. You've had stores broken into. You've had people that have been throwing things are on fire and exploding at the police. You've had shootings around the neighborhood. Been the so far issue one day. Is, it, 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 again, people have been shot, all right? Not everybody that gets shot dies. I think we all know that. That's why we have hospitals and doctors that save people's lives, all right? In reality, if you live in this community... people who have been shot community, are members of the community... All right, I will say this. The people in the community, if they want to own a gun and they are a law-abiding citizen, why would we not want them to be able to go have that right to buy it? That's exactly what our founding fathers wanted in these situations. Well, yeah. well hold on. First of all, I, I uh, 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 the, founding, the founding fathers, best I can tell, wanted us to be able to arm ourselves as a part of a well-regulated militia. Uh, I don't think many of the people who have guns, whether they're in the NRA or on the streets, are part of a well-regulated militia. Um, the other thing is, there's this weird thing that's happening on the right where people are saying that they want to arm themselves not against uh, African-American scary people, but actually against our government and saying that because that the, the government has these tanks, they want to have guns. That's a very strange thing. I think of the African-American community started saying what the right wing is saying, that they want guns against America's government, there would be a very different reaction than when Tea Party members implying, say that. Van, so I think there's a very you're implying, Ben. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. Hang on. on. Before you this respond, Ben, hang on, Ben. Look, go ahead. Uh, uh, this is important as well. I think that, listen, 
I don't think that many, uh, most people I think are for the Second Amendment right. Most people are. I am for that. I think people should be able to protect themselves. But if you're going to be honest about it, I don't think our founding fathers had these automatic weapons and military st style weapons in mind when the Second Amendment was drafted, when are, the Constitution implying, was drafted. So I, are you implying for the police or are you implying for the private citizen? Because the majority of private citizens are not allowed to own anyone, fully automatic weapons. It's obvious for anyone. Okay, well, the gun law says that you and I can't just randomly go out and buy an automatic weapon, so let's deal with the facts here. A semi-automatic weapon is a gun that you and I are allowed to own, and in different places they have different rules. But to imply that anyone can walk out and buy an automatic weapon is just not true, Don. What do you mean anyone can't? Well, listen, during the theater shooting in Colorado, I was able to go and buy an automatic weapon, and I, you know, maybe have shot a gun three, four times in my life. I don't even live in Colorado. I think most people can go out and buy an automatic weapon. Don, what is your, what is your definition your of, an, auto, what is your definition of an automatic weapon? What is your definition of an automatic uh, weapon? Uh, well, for me, an automatic weapon is something that you can shoot off a, a number of rounds, a number of rounds very quickly. I was able to buy Don, an AR-15 within 20 minutes a in a state from, Don, of which that I'm not a and You don't that I'm know not in all resident. due respect. You don't know what you're talking about. An automatic weapon is when you pull the trigger one time and it continually shoots off one after another after another. A semi-automatic weapon. I, I can do that with my. A, I can do that with my AR-15. You're getting into you can, semantics here, just because it's not I am, semantics. Hang on, one Ben. Is let me finish. One is semi-automatic. Yes. Let me finish, Ben. But listen, I think you are getting into s semantics. Regardless of what you want to call it, an automatic or a semi-automatic weapon, I can it's shoot a off a deal. number of it's rounds. It's a difference between breaking rounds. the law it, and it, not breaking the law. Will you let me finish? Will you let me finish, Ben, before we do? I can shoot off a number of rounds very quickly, and I have the capacity to take to harm someone's life in an instant. I think that is what it, what's important here, and that's what we're talking about. No one is saying that you should take away anybody's Second Amendment right, but, I, but that we should examine it. And the question that we started with is the people on the street. Are they over militarized? Are they over armed? Police officers as well. Are they over militarized? Are they over armed? And should we be looking into that? Nobody's arguing the Second Amendment here. Nobody's arguing the semantics about automatic or semi automatic. We're talking about context here. Everything in degrees, very, Ben. I talk about this very, this very point. I, I really do. I have a great deal of concern. Uh, what has happened in this community, to get back to reality here, is that you have people who are now traumatized. When you have a school shooting, Everybody knows you've got to flood the zone with counselors. You've got to flood the zone with people to help uh, people process. That has not happened. Not only have you had this young man shot down, not only was his body out there, which shocked the community for hours, longer than a dog would be laying in the street, this, this young man's body was there. Then you have had now 10 days where law enforcement officers, who people are supposed to be able to rely on for protection, have been leveling their weapons, pointing them at people. Now, that, now, now I know for sure that Mr. Ferguson will agree with me the very first minute of the very first hour of the very first day of a gun safety class, they tell you do not point a weapon at someone unless you have an intention to shoot them. And yet for a week now, you've had grandmothers right. and clergy with guns pointed at them. That is traumatic. And that, that is the trauma of gun okay. violence, and, not and just from street this. violence, but now from police violence. Ben, I ben, agree and with we've you gotta go. You gotta everything. be quick, you gotta be quick. I, I agree with almost everything you just said, but there are people in the crowd that have also been throwing things that are on fire at police and there's been people that have been shot. You cannot, you cannot act as if everyone has been perfect in those situations. And there are some police that I do agree with you have yeah. probably crossed that the is, line and they were why... disciplined today. And they should be disciplined when they that's do cross that line. Only one. Only one was. Only that's one was. why it's a great well, debate, that's... and that's why everybody gets fired up, and that's why we're having this conversation. It will go on and on. Hey, guys, thank you. Appreciate both.